Hello traders, my name is Joseph and thank you so much for joining me on today's video. Now I want to take you guys on a trip down memory lane. And the question I want to ask you guys is, how good is your knowledge of technical analysis? Like do you really know how to read a chart? Now you may or may not know the answers to these questions, but what I'm going to show you today is probably going to be something you've never seen before. And this is usually the first topic that I teach my traders in my Zoom trading classes. So I cannot stress how important this tutorial video is. So I want you guys to pay close attention throughout the video because I promise you that by the end of this video, you would have learned something new. So anyway, without further ado, let's head over to the charts. So every move in the Forex market starts with an impulse neck. So we got an impulse neck there and the beginning of that impulse neck is known as the starting point or sometimes some people might call it swing low so we're just gonna call it starting point and the end of that impulse leg is known as the initial structure high or some people might call it the swing high but in this video, we're going to go with the initial structure high. And I'm just going to put abbreviation over there. So ISH, um, that stands for initial structure high. So what comes next after the initial structure high is what some people might call pullback. Others might call it retracement. And some people might also call it outside return. There's probably a few other names that this is known by, but they all mean the same thing. So in this video, we're going to stick with pullback. So we're going to call that a pullback. And obviously what comes next, next after the pullback is the market rallying and creating what we called a new structure high. So again, we're going to use abbreviation NSH. That's our new structure high. So that the new structure high is basically a high that's higher than the you know the, the, the previous structure high and the clue is in the name really in a uh, new structure high so um, now at this point um, this is what you will call a bullish structure it's not yet a bullish market and we're gonna get to that very soon uh, but first of all though let's try and establish some rules for our bullish structure because that's what's very important or else it will be very difficult to understand what qualifies as a pullback and what qualifies as a new structure high so there's two rules that this pullback needs to obey before you can call it a valid pullback for a bullish structure so now the first rule is the one to do with our fibonacci mm -hmm. so this is probably new to a lot of people this is probably new to a lot of people um, i don't think people have seen anyone use the Fibonacci in order to come up with a rule for a pullback of a bullish structure but we are going to use a Fibonacci so we're going to draw a Fibonacci from the swing low to the swing high or in this case from the starting point to the initial structure high and the rule for this pullback is that the pullback for the pullback of a, of a bullish structure to be valid it must at least touch the 382 Fibonacci retracement that's just the first the first rule so now the second rule before I tell you about the second rule I'm gonna have to introduce a red dotted line at the starting point so I'm gonna draw a red dotted line at the starting point here so the second rule of the pullback is that the pullback cannot touch the structure of the starting point so that's why we've got a red dotted line there. So you cannot have the pullback coming way too deep and touching the starting point. So effectively what that means is that for the two rules of the pullback, this pullback needs to stay between the 382 retracement and the starting point. So to make it easier, we're going to put a little thing here called, um, we're going to you know, put a little zone here. So this is like the, the zone of the pullback. Uh, so this is where the pullback needs to be basically it has to be here if it's not there if it's not somewhere there you don't have a valid pullback of a bullish structure 
So the pullback, this is the area. This, this pullback has to stay in this area. Anywhere outside this area, you don't have a pullback. So we're going to leave that there. And then we're going to move on to the next route, which is the one to do with the new structure high. Uh, this one is pretty straightforward i mean the, the clue it's in the name i mean new structure high so the market just needs to come and create a new structure high so anywhere as long as any part of a candle if you're looking at the market on a candlestick um, on a candlestick chart you just need the market to be able to come any part of the candlestick to go above the initial structure high and then you get your new structure high right okay so what we're going to do after this is um, if the market comes back and make another pullback so as long as the market respects the rule of the pullback as long as the market respect the rule of the pullback of staying between the 382 retracement because at this point we can move this line we can get our red dotted line here because this is going to be our starting point. Yeah, a little bit confusing, isn't it? But this is how you do it. So you move as long as, as the market moves and create new structures, you have to move as well. So we're going to see this as our starting point. That is going to be our initial structure high. This is going to be our pullback. And as long as the pullback stays between, we have to bring in our Fibonacci right so we bring in our fibonacci tool swing low to swing high of the next impulse leg and we're going to create a zone for our pullback so this is the zone of the pullback this can come all the way as deep as here it's fine the pull the pullback is free to go anywhere in this zone so we have a, a pullback here and then if the market rallies and creates a new structure high so at this point you're gonna say oh you have a bullish market because as you can see the market respecting the rule of the pullback it doesn't it doesn't need to be it doesn't need to be symmetric you're gonna go into the market and look at structures you're never gonna see a market that's very very symmetrical the market doesn't do that that's why this rules is very important to guide you. you're not going to go in the market and see something like that it's never it doesn't happen it rarely rarely happens you're going to see some pullbacks are going to get deep some people pullback are going to get complicated you know but as long as you understand these rules it's going to guide you a little bit better so let's go over to the chart and try and see if we can if we can apply these rules yeah so um i'm going to try and find a nice uh area in the chart where the market has kind of given me some nice okay here we've got um, a little bit of a structure here that shows um, a bullish structure so what i'll do is i'll try and i'll i'll cut this from here actually i'll cut it from here and uh so let's look at this market from the from here here we have our impulse leg right which was followed by a retracement and that was followed by a new structure high so now let's apply our rules, what we've just learned, and try and see if this market has done exactly what we just talked about. So first of all, I'm going to put my red dotted line here. So wherever I put my red dotted line, that's, that's the starting point. And as you've seen in the video, that's our initial structure high. And this is our pullback. So we bring in our Fibonacci, swing low, to swing high. And we create a zone for our pullback. And the zone is between the 382 retracement and the starting point. So let's look at this market. Did the pullback stay in its zone? Yes, it did. And then the market created a new structure high. Right? So now we're going to play along and see what comes next. There you go. So we have a new structure high. So we have a pullback here. And then we have the market creating a new structure high, right? So let's see if the market has respected the rule of the pullback. So we put our red dotted line here again. 
That's our starting point. Bring in our Fibonacci, swing low to swing high. And create our zone, 382 retracement to the starting point. Is the pullback in its zone? Of course it is. So let's play along this market and see what happens. New structure high. So we have a new structure high. So let's bring in our pullback. And a new structure high, right? Again, let's bring in our red dotted line. And then our Fibonacci, swing low to swing high. And let's create our zone. 382 retracement to the starting point. Is the pullback in its zone? Of course it is. So let's gonna play along. This is gonna get really complicated, guys. So So the next one, I said we've created a new structure high. So we've got our pullback here. We can extend this all the way there. We've got our pullback here. Let's bring in our red dotted line. And then we bring in our Fibonacci. Swing low to swing high. And let's create our zone. 382 retracement to the starting point. Is the pullback in its zone? Yes, it is. So, yeah, new structure high. We need a pullback first of all. Okay, we've got something here that looks like a pullback. Okay, this is this is gonna get really. This is where you're gonna see why the rule is so important, guys. This is where the rule is gonna be very important. So we have a new structure high, don't we? And a pullback. A new structure high. And a pullback. So let's bring in our red dotted line. Red dotted line there. Let's bring in our Fibonacci. Swing low to swing high. Let's create our zone. 382 retracement to the starting point. Is this pullback where it needs to be? No, it's not. So in this case, you're going to take. You're not going to use this as your pullback. So you're going to keep extending your impulse leg until you get a pullback. That's 382 retracement. Okay, so let's extend it all the way there. We've got a nice pullback here in the market. Let's see if that pullback. Let it a bit more down. Okay, so let's see if that pullback is respecting the rule of the outside of the, of the pullback. It's respecting the rule, our, our, our rule. So, we've got a red dotted line here. We bring in our Fibonacci, swing low to swing high. And let's create our zone, 382 retracement to the starting point. Is the pullback where it needs to be? Yes, it is. So first of all, finally, we've seen the market coming into our zone. Now, this is very important because if you don't understand this rule, you would have seen this as a structure in the market. You would have used this as your pullback. And you can see what happened, that the market came and broke that level, right? It came below that level. So if you're trading, you would have taken this as a sign that the market is going to change direction. But if you understand the rule of the pullback, this is just, this is nothing. This is something for you to just ignore in the market. Because if you play this along, you're going to see what the market did after that. The market continues to rally. So if you're taking a short position, then you probably would have been eaten alive. See, the rule of the pullback, as long as the market is between the 382 retracement and the starting point, you see the market continues to go higher it continues to go higher
Yes, the market continues to go higher. It continues to go higher. So the whole point is this. Of, of the whole point of this um, this tutorial is just for you guys to understand how it is that you can read the structure of the market. How it is that you can use this rule to kind of guide you in understanding market movements. Now in the next video, I'm going to show you how complicated some of these pullback can get. And I'm going to show you how those complications in these pullbacks are the reason why we have so many different strategies in the forex market. So you're going to see how wave theory, even the strategy that I trade, how they all arise from complications involving pullbacks. But now you should be able to go on the market, you should be able to look at the chart, you should be able to read the chart effectively using this rule to kind of guide you. So anyway, um, this is actually the, the, the first thing that I usually teach at the beginning of my courses to my traders because I cannot stress how important this is for everyone, for anyone who wants to understand technical analysis. So if you're interested in my in, in, in learning even more, like I said, just go ahead over to my website, you know, just join my Zoom classes. I mean, I run classes every Monday and every Fridays in the morning and evening. So, and, and yeah, so and if you if you like the content that you see, go over to TradingView and follow me um, on TradingView. I do post there, um, not as often as I would like, obviously, because it wouldn't be fair on my traders. Um, but I still post some things on TradingView, so you can go over there and, and you know, keep yourself updated. And uh, yeah, so if you find this video useful, then please hit the thumbs up button and and if you're not subscribed yet, subscribe and, you know, to get more, you know, to get the notification every time I post a video. So thank you guys for tuning in. I'm going to see you guys on the next video.